So in this video, I'm going to be installing KDE Neon in a desktop computer. So the Linux KDE Neon operating system, it has the beta version of KDE Plasma 6.2. So I'm going to be installing this in a desktop computer. So this is the boot menu. I'm going to choose KDE Neon. So this is the welcome center page. I just click next. So right now it says KDE Plasma 6.2 Dev. So here you have to choose your language. I'm going to click next. So this is the location and it's correct here. The keyboard layout is correct. So here you have to choose the storage device. It's already selected. I'm going to select erase disk. And I'm going to select swap to file. I'll click next. I'll create an account. I'm going to leave this unchecked, log in automatically without asking for the password. I'll click install. Okay, it's done. I'm going to restart the computer. So on the lower left, there's a virtual keyboard. So there's WLAN and X11. I'm going to click on the application launcher. So this is favorites. This is all applications and they are listed alphabetically. This is development, graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is Office. This is System Settings. This is System. This is Utilities. So I'm going to right click the desktop, select Desktop and Wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers. I'll click apply. So I'll open the systems monitor. So I'm going to change the team. I'll just right click the desktop, select desktop configuration. And I'm going to choose breeze dark. I'm going to open system settings. So on system settings, they are listed by categories here. There's input and output. There's connected devices, there's networking, there's appearance and style, apps and windows. This is bulk space, security and privacy, language and time, and system. I'll select power management. 
So there's also a configuration for dim automatically and you can select by minutes or seconds. The default is five minutes and this will dim the screen. I'll click on software update. So I'm going to open the updater. So this is a system upgrade. There are 260 packages that will be upgraded. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to select update all. So I'm going to restart the computer. So the update was complete and this KDE Plasma version has been updated to 6.2 beta version. So I'm going to change back the team. I'm going to open users. So I can also change the avatar here. And these are some of the avatars. So I can also click on the tree. And there are different colors. So I'm going to select colors and teams. I can change the login screen. So this is the default. I'll select boot splash screen. So this is the boot splash screen. And there's an option here to get new. There's remote desktop. I'm going to open the Discover Software Center. So it is installed. And these all can be deleted. Here's updates. So here you can search for apps. For example, I'm going to search for Chrome. So I'll install Google Chrome. So Google Chrome was installed. So I'll open Dolphin File Manager. So this is the Gwen View app. I'll open this PDF document.
I'll create a new folder. I'll right click, select create new folder. So Firefox is installed. So I'll right click the panel, select show panel configuration. So this is the panel settings. I'll click on position and this will change the position of the panel. I'll click on the left arrow and the panel is on the left. Click on the right arrow and the panel is on the right. I'll leave the panel at the bottom. I can also change the height of the panel. I'll right click the panel and select add or manage widgets. And here I can add widgets on the desktop. I can also search for widgets here. So I'll drag this clock to the desktop. So I'll right click the widget and I'll remove it. So if I move the mouse cursor at a fast pace on the screen, it enlarges. So I'm going to search for Whelan. So this is the Whelan Info Center. There's OpenCL, OpenGL, GLX, Vulkan, WLAN, X Server, Windows Manager. So on the right lower side, this is a speaker icon. This is brightness and color adjustments. This is the network icon. This is the power management icon. So on status and notifications, these are some of the apps. This is the time and date. So on the right side, this is where you can configure your weather report. I'll click on set location and I'll type the location. I'll set it here. Click apply. And click OK. And the weather icon is here. So the data is from the NOAA. National Weather Service. So I'll change the cursor. I'll click on Colors and Teams. Click on Cursors. And here I have these options. So I'll open the Dolphin File Manager. This is it. So I'm going to click on Network. So just a drop down tab for Remote. I can also add a network folder. So you can connect the Apple devices, Bluetooth devices. You can connect to a Google Drive, also MTP devices, and also a shared network folder. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. So on system settings, I'm going to select Windows Management. I'll select Virtual Desktop. So there's only one Virtual Desktop. I'm going to add four more. 
So there are five virtual desktops. I'll click apply and it's here on the panel. I'll click on desktop effects. I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see Windows Management. And it says Cube here. So I'm going to select Cube. Click Apply. And to activate the Cube feature on the keyboard, I'm using a Windows keyboard. I'm going to hold down the Windows key and the C key. So this is the cube feature. So I'm going to check the kernel version. I'll type uname dash r. So the kernel version is 6.8.0. So if you want to find out more information about the KDE Plasma 6.2 beta release, this is the website. And here you can read about the major changes available. So this was a quick look of the KDE Plasma 6.2 beta version. So this version is unstable. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.